Okay. All right, what do we got here? The Good Life. Chromes. Is that Dominic Howard? Very powerful sound and recording. Very clean recording. Nice sounding snare drum. This has a real 1980s vibe to it. Yeah, sounds great. Excellent quality recording. Drums sound excellent. I gotta say, I have no idea who this is, though. Nice space. Whoa, nice guitar. I like that guitar solo. Matt Bissonette. I don't know who this is. I'm stumped. Whoa! 
Wow, that sounds pretty amazing. Stephen Wilson? I don't know who it is. Who is it? What is it? Really? Chris Wolstenholm. Come on, no way. Brand new solo project. That's him singing? This is the problem, and I think this is done on purpose and not just to anger you. He's not saying who's on this. I'm assuming it's him singing and playing the bass. Sure it's not Dominic Howard? Well, you know, I, I don't know. It could be. It could be all three of them, honestly, right? Mm. I don't know. He's not it saying. didn't sound like Matt's guitar playing. Okay, well. Not the solo, anyway. But it did sound to you like Dominic Howard? Yes. You're willing to go out there on a limb and say that? Uh, that would be my guess. Okay. I mean, it, I don't know. We, no one knows right now. I didn't recognize the bass, although I did say the bass sounded good. Yes. That's cool. This is the first time I think he's ever done something like this. Sounds very strong. Very good. Very good quality recording. Very good production. He just he released two songs, The Good Life and the one you just listened to, Imaginary World. Imaginary World. That's like a common theme in music, isn't it? I feel like that title's been used before. Perhaps. Reminds yeah, me of like Duran Duran or something. Yes, they had I think that they had a song called Imaginary World or mm. Perhaps. But it wasn't that song. No. Uh that sounded excellent. Yeah, just released maybe a week ago. I heard a uh, Duran Duran song the other day that had the most insane vocals going on in it. Which, which one? What's it called? Something about why don't you use it or something? Oh, the reflex? Is that? Why I don't, I don't yeah, you those, use it? <laughs> those, those vocals are just... On the verge of intolerable. <laughs> I mean, that is the most bizarre use of, of vocal, vocal vocal abilities. Well. Very, very, uh, for kind of annoying, actually. Okay, well. Almost like hard to tolerate, but at the same time, possibly genius. Right. Uh, yeah, they played that on the radio, and I was just marveling over the insanity of those vocals. Remember back then when they were like, these are the next Beatles? Top. <laughs> Do you remember them saying that? I don't remember them saying that. Boy, they were off on that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who they were. It was probably the industry, you know, trying to force feed us propaganda. These guys are the next Beatles. Buy all this shit. But, uh, I mean, didn't they say that about Squeeze? That That's a little more believable. And uh, I mean, they might have. Even They're... Tears for Fears I could buy into if you listen to uh, Sowing the Seeds of Love. I'm sure they've said it every time they've tried to... But uh, an extra uh, the next Beatles, I mean, I'd have to go with Oasis on that one. Oh, definitely. Well, now, yeah. Hate to tell you. You don't have to hate to tell us, but let's Hate to be the one to break it to you, let's, naysayers. Okay. So you were, uh, you were a fan of this. Yeah, excellent. You had no idea that it was Chris, but you did think it was Dominic Howard. So that's I, interesting. I did, yes. Okay. Well, well, maybe eventually he will... Why won't he tell us? Come I on. I don't know. I need to know these things. I don't know. I've looked... Unless he's, he, he announced it, you know, right before we started recording, but I don't think that's the case. Paging Dominic Howard. Dominic Howard to the courtesy desk. Can you please tell me who you are, if you're on this album or not? I mean, maybe you, maybe Detective, Drum Detective Dave has Drum figured Detective something out. Drum Detective Dave, coming at you. All right. Hey, I got a theme song and everything. Yep. You just heard it. It sucks. It's, uh, oh. It's okay. It stinks. Get it? No. It stinks. What's that? That's from that terrible movie that they parodied on uh, Mystery Science Theater. Oh, okay. It stinks. It stinks. All right. The Italian movie where they're uh, like at a ski lodge or something and <laughs> recording music and getting killed all at once. Well, for all you MST3K fans out there, I didn't realize you were a fan. It stinks. All right. Let's, let's, you're not saying that about this song. No, this song's great. Looking forward to hearing more from Chris, or do you think this is just two and done? Mm, Nothing's happening. I think there should be a whole album. Okay. Well, we will see. I can't imagine you just released, what is it, an A and a B side? Do those even exist anymore? I don't know. Do people have, do people still play music? 
or are they just listen to music? Are they just force fed music? I don't know. Let's Is anyone listening to music because they want to? If yeah. so, let's see a show of hands, shall we? Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Okay. Don't you love when people say, yeah, no? No. Yeah? How about no, yeah? Okay, Dave. All right. Nonsense. Nonsense talk. Chromes. It looks like it's Goonies. It's I thought it was music from the Goonies soundtrack. C-H-R for Chris. O-M-E for Walston Home. And S for... There's already a band called Chrome. Chromes. The O is for Dominic. Maybe. Howard. Maybe. I would think so, but I don't know. All right. Who knows? That's your guess. That's my guess. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. That was entertaining. Very good quality recording. Very strong. Now let's hear the new Muse album, shall we? I think it's just about time. Has it been two years since the last one? Well, they put out some anniversary remasters, so people are of the mind that uh, that, that pushes does not back count. any new music a couple years. Oh, God. Don't do that. All right. Leave the remaster up to the producer, and you guys get in the studio and get the work. All right. Thank you very much. Drum Detective Dave.